Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Hansen here. So we are going to do another math lesson. We are going to need our My Math book. So if you need to get that, make sure you get that now so then you can go along and work with Mrs. Hansen. And then after you're done watching the video, you can finish up the activity that we need to finish up. In our My Math book, you are going to need to pull out two pages. The first page we need, where are you page number, is 495. And we're talking about lesson two, comparing height. Remember, we already did comparing length. So now we're going to do comparing height, which is almost the very next page in our booklet. So you're going to need 495, 496, 497, and 498. So if you guys need to pause it to get those papers out, um, you can do that now. And what we are going to do, we're going to start out with our lesson. Because you guys need to know about height because we learned all about length already. So when we are talking about height, we are talking about how tall or short someone or something is. So I have a couple examples to show you guys. So first, I have two nail polishes. And you could see this one's a little bit like of a darker red or a maroon purpley color. And then this one's like a light beige color. So you can see what is different when Mrs. Hansen is lining up our items. Do you see how we're lining them? I'm lining them up up and down. I'm not lining them up left and right and horizontal like we were with length. With height, it's always up and down. So when we talk about up and down, that is vertical. Can you guys say vertical with me? Vertical. So you can see my two nail polishes are lined up vertical. They're vertically lined up. So when you're looking at these, we're going to say taller or shorter. We're not going to say longer or shorter like we do for um, length. With height, since it's vertical, we are going to say taller or shorter. So, looking at my two nail polishes, can you tell me which one is taller? Is it my maroon one or my beige one? My maroon one is taller than my beige. So now, which one is shorter? Yep, the beige one is shorter than my maroon. So this one is taller and this one is shorter. So we have them lined up. We have our tall and then our shorter one. Very good. Next, I want to see if you guys can tell me. Um, I got to use some super fun stuffies. So first we have, this is our stuffed panda and his name is Spike. So this is Spike. Spike's pretty big. And then we have Delilah's little monkey. Delilah didn't name her monkey yet, so we don't have a name for our monkey. So, looking at our two animals, our panda and our monkey, which one is taller? You are right. Mr. Panda, um, Spike, is taller than our monkey. So, looking at their height, um, they're lined up vertically. Spike is taller than the monkey. Which one is shorter? Yep, our monkey is shorter than our panda. So um, think about that. Now, what I want you to think about in your family, who is the tallest and who is the shortest? Are you the shortest or is there somebody in your house that is shorter than you? And then who is taller? Is your mom? Is your dad? Is your grandma? Is your grandpa? Anybody who lives in your house, I want to know who is taller and who is shorter. So I want you to start thinking about that right now. I might give you an, another little homework assignment to go along with height. So now we are going, I want you guys to tell me who is taller. Lily, can I borrow you for a minute? Mm -hmm. So me and Lily are going to line up. Okay, so me and Lily are next to each other, right? So we are lined up vertically. So hold your arms up so they can see that we're vertical. Okay, so we are vertically lined up. So who is taller? Is Mrs. Hansen taller or is Lily taller? 
What do you think, Lily? Who's taller? I'm taller. So Mrs. Hansen is taller than Lily. And Lily is shorter than Mrs. Hansen. Now, if we had baby Delilah out here, what do you think? Do you think Delilah is taller or shorter? Is, are you sh taller than Delilah or are yeah. you shorter? I'm taller. Yes, Lily is taller than Delilah. And Delilah is shorter than both Lily and Mrs. Hansen. So in our family, Delilah is the shortest. All right, Lily, thank you. You want to say bye? Bye. Say bye, friends. So I want you guys to think about that. Um, and then we're going to start doing our papers. So if you guys didn't get your papers out right now, you can do that. Remember, we need $4.95 to $4.98. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with our length papers. We're going to do the first and the last page together. And then I want you guys to do the middle pages for me. So on our lesson two, compare height, we have this rocket ship. So everybody, make sure you have this out. And before we start, you are going to need a pencil and a red and a yellow crayon. So make sure you guys get that now along with your papers because the next activity we're going to use our crayon. So for this first activity, I'll read you the directions and then we'll do it together. So it says use cubes. Remember, we don't have our cubes. Our cubes are in our classroom. So we're going to do the same thing that we did for our other lesson. We are going to just draw our cubes and do our best at guessing about how big they are. Remember, they're about eh, not too big. I bet you guys can guess. We played with them a lot, but I think you guys have a pretty good idea how big those cubes are. So the directions are use cubes to show a rocket that is taller than the rocket on the page. And then we're going to trace those connecting cubes. So. Mrs. Hansen is going to use her pen. I want you guys to use your pencil for this. So I'm going to draw my cubes taller than my rocket. I do not care what size of the rocket you draw your cubes. So you can either draw it on the left side or on the right side, whatever works for you. So Mrs. Hansen right now is drawing her cubes on the right side and then I am just making sure that my cubes are taller than my rocket. So this is what I want you guys to do. You can see my cubes, I made it taller. I started at the bottom and then I went all the way up to the top. So you can see that my rocket is now shorter than my line of cubes. So you guys want to take some time and draw your cubes. Make sure your cubes are taller than the rocket. And then, after you guys are done with that, I am going to give you a little bit of directions on what to do on the next side. So on the back side, we have our number one, and it's kind of the same thing as we did with our length. We have our uh, vocabulary words, height, shorter, taller. And you can see each of these items on this page they're lined up vertically. They're lined up up and down. So we first have our flowers, and the directions say compare the objects. Trace the X on the object that is shorter, and trace the circle that is around the object that is taller. So the first one is already done with for us, so we can do that right now. And we have our circle around our flower, and an X on our I mean, uh, circle around the taller flower and an X on our shorter flower. So Mrs. Hansen did that for you. So that's the same directions for two and three. We are going to compare the objects, draw an X on the object that is shorter, and draw a circle around the object that is taller. If the objects are the same height, you're going to underline them. So look at your trees and then look at the recycle buckets. Which one is taller? You're going to circle that one which one is shorter, you're going to put an X on that one. And then we have our same directions for our next page, which is 497, for 4, 5, 6, and 7. Circle, the tallest, X, the shortest, and then you're going to underline them. So you would just need a line right underneath if they were the same height. 
So you guys can do that all on your own after the video, or you guys can work on it now, but I want you guys to listen to my next directions for our back page. So our back page says, we are going to, so this is 498 that we're doing right now together. You, this is where we're gonna need our red and our yellow crayon. So Mrs. Hansen has her red and her yellow crayon and it says draw a tall object and draw a short object beside it. So Mrs. Hansen is going to use her pen. You guys are going to use your pencil and I'm going to draw a tall object. I think I'm going to draw, I'm just going to draw a crayon. So I'm going to draw a tall crayon and then I'm going to draw my short crayon. So, I have my two crayons, I have my tall crayon right there, and then my short crayon over here. So then the directions are, color the tall object red. So I have my red crayon, and I am going to take my time, I'm not going to scribble, I'm going to make sure I'm inside my lines and my coloring is super neat because remember you guys are going to be first graders soon so we can't have sloppy coloring because you guys have been working on this all year long so i want to make sure that i see that you guys really take your time and color in your crayon nice and neat so mrs hansen has her tall item her tall crayon color red now the next direction is color the short and the short object you're going to color yellow so Mrs. Hansen has her yellow crayon, and I'm going to color in my yellow crayon, or my shorter object, yellow. So I'm taking my time, coloring inside the lines, making sure it looks super nice and neat. And I have my short crayon, yellow. So my tall crayon is red, and my short crayon is yellow. And then it says, explain to a classmate what the words short and tall mean. So, whoever is working with you today, I want you to tell them, why did you color the item you colored red? And why did you color the item you colored yellow? Which one is taller and which one is shorter? So, when you are done with that, then you guys can work on your two middle pages. And once you get that all done, you guys can send that in or have your parents send that in for me to check it over to make sure you guys understand height. Remember, taller and shorter. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. And I hope you guys have a lot of fun with that. Bye, guys.